And welcome back to the series where we explore the new values of the captive consumer. The captive economy is a fascinating place. Understanding the psychology of imprisonment and captivity allows us to understand how the consumers may be feeling right now and how we as brands and businesses can better connect with them. So these are the five values of the new captive consumer. And the fifth value for consumers of the captive economy. To me, it's about digital, digital connection. And while, of course, digital has been here for the last 10, 15 years, it's been growing steadily. And every now and then we have a step jump in, in digital. Um, so usually a technology driven step jump. So if you go back you know, 20 years, you had the PC on every desk and, and that, that, that step jumped email communication. And then you had the laptop and that step jumped entertainment. And then you had social media, which step jumped connection. And then you had the smartphone and Wi-Fi, which step, step jumped the whole digital world that we know today. Every time there's a step jump, our expectations as consumers kind of change. So if you want a really simple example, take the rideshare apps that we all use, the Ubers, the Lyfts. Uh, anyone who hits a rideshare app, you know, how, how long will you wait for a car? If you see three, four minutes on your screen, you think, okay, that's acceptable. If you see eight, nine minutes, you think, oh, no. Um, so our expectations have shifted hugely uh, by using digital. And what that means in the real world is that if you see a queue in the real world, you kind of have the same reaction to that eight, nine minutes. They've got a queue? No, no. So we, we want everything instantly. And so digital has been growing very, very slowly, but what we're seeing now in this new digital world, we kind of are all leaning over to digital more than physical because the physical world has been taken away from us. What we're seeing is, is generations of consumers using digital more frequently for more things than they ever did before. And we're even bringing, of course, new consumers into digital. So for instance, my mother, my mother is 76, and she did her first online shop last week and had it delivered today. And um, now, will she, do online shopping forever from now on? No, she still likes the store, but having done it once, I can see her from now on maybe doing a monthly shop for all the bulk items. Another friend of mine, her 71-year-old mother, uh, recently used Zoom a few days ago to teach six of her friends how to crochet. Now, so think about this, that that's a 71-year-old digital granny doing a webinar to her friends on crochet. And uh, she never thought she was a digital tutor, but there she is, you know, running a small digital uh, teaching course. So. I think what's happening is this, this behaviors that we're going to interact with digital, all these house party and WhatsApp face social calls, and those things are going to bed down with huge amounts of people, even working from home, uh, you know, which, which was uh, maybe done by some people, but not by all people is now seen as, oh, you know, this does work. And so I think we're going to see huge digital, digital shifts in terms of how we live our lives, how we buy, how we work afterwards because of this pandemic. And I think they're going to last a lot longer. We're going to see new technologies that have been there for a long time, but more adapted during this crisis. So things like augmented reality, virtual reality. So you can go now to the Guggenheim Museum in, in New York if you want via Google Street View and walk around their museum and have a look at all the art. And so I think people will start to travel in the next few weeks via AR and VR, uh, via their laptops and their digital TVs and, and start to think, oh, yeah, well, we can explore the world this way. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of digital content. I mean, this being one, I'm talking to you now in a video. Um, so how much videos are we going to consume? I think there's a, there's, a, there's a, you know, if you want to talk about flattening the curve of the pandemic, I think there's, there's, a, there's a curve for digital. There's a huge amount of webinar and videos and Instagram lives being all pushed out at the moment. And the question is, do you really want to consume them all? Um, so there's going to be a jaded consumer of digital. What that means for any brand or business, you've got to produce content that is so creative that it will cut through the noise. There's so much digital noise now. You thought it was bad before. Now there is, I mean, every family are making funny memes and songs and pushing them out on social media. So if the average family is pushing out content, they never were before, how, as a brand or business, do you try and push into that? Because there's so much stuff going on out there. People are jaded already of the corona memes. And so how do you produce your digital content in a way that will cut through all the noise? And that is a real challenge. Also, for any brand or business, you now have to look at digital as a channel. Obviously, we've been talking about that for 15 years, making sure you have digital products and digital channel. But now I think it's become a reality for even small business who have realized, wow, you know, I can't uh, make money out of my physical store. What do I do now? So I think it will be a great wake up call for digital. It will be a catalyst for digital. Not that we needed one, but we were certain it'll be another. It'll be the biggest non-technical step jump digital has seen because most of digital step jumps have come through technology. This would be the biggest social non-technical step jump in terms of how we behave as consumers, 
how we pull digital product through uh, because it's now the way we want to live our lives. And that won't change after this pandemic. So it's probably one of the most exciting things for digital disruption. And none of us saw it coming, of course. If you ask about disruption, people always assume it's going to be technical. And this is the, one of the biggest social, anthropological and behavioral disruptions that we may ever see in terms of how people consume digital. So it's exciting times. But as a brand or business, you really have to ensure that you now lead with digital in the current climate. Thank you.